Every morning, hop up my bed, catch some Franklin's. I've been talking money, what you said. What is going on, everybody? It's been a while. It's been about two months since I made my last video. And today I'm gonna be making like a little DIY worm farm video. My buddy called me last night and he said he was outside in the rain picking up big night crawlers and that gave me the idea. So I went and picked up, I probably got about 50 big night crawlers just in about 20 minutes just walking through my parking lot. So I'm sitting here looking in this bucket of night crawlers and it got me thinking. I wonder if I can breed these worms like dogs. So I started looking into it a little bit and it's a thing. So right now I'm on my way to Fleet Farm. I'm going to get worm bedding and I'm basically gonna do a DIY worm farm video. If this works out as planned, I really, I shouldn't have to buy any worms for like the whole summer or ever again, really, hopefully. All right, I'll see you guys when we get to Fleet Farm. So I went into Fleet Farm. I got some worm food and some worm bedding. And I only paid like twelve fifty eight, I think was my total, so it was pretty cheap. So this is what I got. I got a little little jar of worm food, and then I got the five pound box of uh, worm bedding. Fleet Farm has this worm farm setup. It's kind of essentially the same thing, but it was twenty dollars, and all it is is a twenty dollars styrofoam container with holes in the top for air. So I'm gonna make my own. Let's get out of this parking lot. Let's go back to my place and set up the worm bedding inside of my worm farm. All right guys, so we are back at my place. I have everything I need to start making my worm farm. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so first thing you're gonna need is some sort of insulated container. I just had this one laying around in my garage, so I'm gonna use this one. It doesn't have to be very big. It can be smaller than this. And it all depends on how many uh, worms I guess you're trying to hold. All right, so you got your insulated container. Second thing you're gonna need is some worm bedding. So I got this uh, five pound, it's basically a five pound bag of worm bedding. Um, looking on the back of here, it says one pound of bedding can be used for every 30 to 35 night crawlers, or one pound of bedding can be used for 100 regular worms. And the third thing you guys are going to need is some worm food. Worms get hungry just like we do. On this can it says a worm eats its own weight in food every day. So make sure you feed your worms. So last night it was raining. I took a bucket and I started walking down the street and I ended up with probably close to between, I would say close to 50 night crawlers. Okay, so now you got everything you need. You got your insulated container, you got your worm bedding, you got your worm food, and you got your worms. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box of the worm bedding, Jerome beddings, worm beddings. Boom. Boom. So maybe I should read the instructions first probably. Carefully transfer bait worms to top of fat, sassy bedding. Fat and sassy bedding, what is that? Oh, that's the name of the bedding. <laughs> uh, check worms often, removing any which are damaged or dead. Do not mix crawlers and worms. Keep in a cool place between 45 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit and out of the sunlight. Uh, the worms must be kept cool and moist at all times. That's why you have the insulated cooler. Um, I am going to be cutting air holes on the top of it for the worms. It says this is all ready to go. I don't have to add any water, nothing. I'm not going to weigh out pound for pound how many worms I'm doing. I'm not counting. I'm just going to wing it here. So we got our insulated container here. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of this in there. So this seems pretty simple really. I mean I, I filled the bottom, just kind of lined the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see in here too good. I'll show you a better, better angle when I'm done with it all. Alright so now that we spread the worm bedding, we're going to take our worms and I guess just go ahead and dump them in. This is basically what I got going on in here. I got a couple worms in there. Going to add a couple more. See, I got quite a bit last night. 
they're a little slimy because I just left them in a bucket. Hopefully they'll be all right. I don't know. It's just a pretty small container. They're all really slimed up right now. I think once they start feeling the dirt, they'll come alive a little better. Look at them all. All right, so I guess that's all it said to do is just lay them on top of the soil. It didn't say to bury them or cover them up or anything like that. It just said lay them on top. So that's what I'm going to do. I mean, they're all really sticky right now because they were sitting all together in a pile last night, just in the bottom of a bucket. But uh, I'm going to come back and check in like 10 minutes and we're going to check on them and see if they're all moving around, see if they made their home. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna check on the worms here. Let's take a peek and see if they all dug their way in. So it's looking like most of them found their way. It's looking like they're all dug in pretty good. Uh, they haven't been fed all night. They've just been sitting in the bottom of the bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them right away just looks like sawdust I have no idea what this is it looks just like sawdust probably is sawdust I didn't even read the directions it's probably sawdust all right so there you guys have it that was just my quick DIY worm farm there's really not much to it the whole the whole thing cost me less than $20 and essentially if you keep feeding your worms they should be able to breed and make sure you just clean out the dead ones every once in a while. And realistically, you should never have to buy worms ever again. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. If you like my video, hit the thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And do not forget to subscribe. Um, I got a lot of videos coming here with the open water season just beginning. So do not forget, worms eat food. Don't forget to feed them your little magical worm food. Just like fish, you gotta feed them food. So until next time guys, do not forget to subscribe. I'm out. Every morning I have about my bed, cast on Franklin's. I've been talking money, what you said.